to Red Ted Art today, Red Ted and I are going to make a poke ball, a 3D poke ball that you can play with. Whose ideas was it to make it? Mine. Yes, because it's summer holiday, so we've been doing lots of crafting, haven't we? Mm -hmm. Now this is a collaboration with Carly Toffel, and she's made some amazing looking uh, poke ball uh, what are they called? K-Pops! So you'll have to go and see them at the end and click through and have a look at how yummy they are. Anyway, let's get started. So, to make the poke ball, you will need a small balloon. Poke ball. Poke ball. Okay. Poke ball or poke ball? Poke ball. Poke ball. Uh, but what, what's key about the balloon is that when you blow it up just a little bit, it's round. Some balloons are a bit oval, aren't they? So we actually yes. used a water balloon here. Then you'll need some um, paper. DIY paper mash and paste. Do you remember how we made this? We use water and flour. flour and then put it in the microwave Wait. for about 8 minutes. No, <laughs> about 30 seconds. But the thing is you keep stirring, or 40 seconds. You have to keep stirring. It's a bit lumpy, but it's fine. And then obviously strips of paper. Then later, once it's dry, we'll be using things, something like acrylic paint to paint it. But that comes later. And also white paint so we can actually... Exactly. So now, do you want to help me to start? So you need to get your um, strips really gooey, don't you? If you don't like your fingers getting messy, this is not a craft for you. No, you do have to get a bit messy. A nice warm it's sun. It's a bit sticky too. Yeah, well it's meant to be sticky, so that's good. Here, yeah, this side's a bit more liquidy. So I always wanted a bit thick, because I think I left it in the microwave a bit too long. Oops. So I just um, added a bit of water to thin it down. smoothen it and make a nice Ooh, surface. And your whole yeah, 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 we are. Okay, so now we're going to let this dry probably about a day because it's quite a hot day here. If it's um, summer where you are or winter where you are, it might take three or four days. So really you just have to wait, but it has to be bone dry. Um, and as you saw, we put some smaller pieces on towards the end just to try and get more of an even surface. Um, and it's probably about three or four layers in total. So yes, yeah, so I'm going to actually balance it on this glass and let it dry. You could actually hang it up and let it dry. I'm going to put it on the glass, but I'm going to check on it like every half hour, an hour, because it's quite hot today, and I'm just going to lift it up very gently so it doesn't stick to the glass. And once it's dry, we'll come back. So see you in a bit. Now this has been drying nice and hard for a few days. So we're just going to take the balloon out of the middle, give it a little pull, and we're just cutting it. Now, most of it will have just disappeared inside, which is fine. Okay, and we're ready to paint. Now, we're going to do the uh, pokey ball. Is that right, Red Ted? Yes. But we've got a magazine here with lots of different designs, so you can choose whatever design you really want. But we're doing this one, a nice, nice, simple one. And we're going to use acrylic paints, but you can use whatever paints you've got. So you can see the shadow in the darkness. But we're going to just go for acrylic paints. If you've got other paints at home um, and you want to have like a shiny effect, you can either mix some PVA glue in and uh, you know, do it that way. Would you like to start with white or with red first? Um, let's start with white. With white first, okay. So this is just a big pot. <laughs> dry we're resting it on a glass and then once that's dry and it's quite a sunny day we're going to put the red on the bottom and then the black all right you can see the sun's gone in a little bit but that's good for filming now this is dry we're going to paint the red side <laughs> Now we're going to let this dry and Red Ted, what did you want to add? Um, you might have to do a few layers because you can see you can actually sort of see, still see the newspaper. Okay, so we'll let this dry and then put another layer on. Well done. So now we're going to draw the black line across. <laughs> Okay, and now we're 
we're literally just going to finish it off with a little bit of paint in the middle. Okay, and there you have your poke ball finished. Now, we have a little hole here because we decided it would be fun to have that as the centre of our poke ball. But of course, if you don't want the hole on this side, you can just put it on the other side. Also, um, if you'd use this as a Christmas decoration, and then you could actually have your poke ball facing down. This could be at the top and you could be hanging it off the Christmas tree, but we are going to play with it. Okay, so here's the finished product. One more time for you to look at. Doesn't it look fabulous? A little mistake there, but I can cover that in white, not a problem. Now you can put the little hole at the top, make this into a fabulous Christmas ornament. But to be honest, my son, he is itching to play with this. Just throwing it to his friends, playing catch. You could actually make three of them, do a bit of juggling. Or you know what? Just have it on your desk as a kind of like Pokemon ornament. Um, it's just fun and it's quirky and it's really cool. Now don't forget, this is a collaboration with Carly Toffel, who has an amazing baking channel and she has some awesome awesome brilliant um poke ball uh, cake pops for you to check out they just look delicious and i want to gobble them all up now subscribe to your channel subscribe to my channel like comment um let me know what you'd like to see more of here on redhead art and hopefully see you here again soon bye